Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another unboxing video. Uh, now, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that I like to, uh, well, I like to film a lot of videos, and and I've up, updated all my camera equipment, including the drone, to 4K, and that really eats up a lot of hard disk space. Now, at the time of posting this, I have 32 terabytes of hard disk space, and... I'm embarrassed to say it, but I'm actually running low. I've got about got about three terabytes remaining. So to be proactive about it, uh, what I've done, I purchased a second. I've already got one Thunderbolt 2 enclosure that has four by four terabytes in it. And then I've got another eSATA slash USB 3.0 enclosure with eight drive bays that has four drives in it. So that's my time machine backup. What I'm going to use with this one is I'm going to daisy chain it to my other Thunderbolt enclosure and it'll function as my primary video storage. So with six, six terabyte hard drives, I can expand this up to, uh, well, six times four is 24. So I'll be able to max this out at 24 terabytes and be able to add those drives as the need arises while concurrently adding an equal number of drives to my eight bay enclosure that I use for the time machine backup. So this one comes from, uh, and sorry if I mispronounce it, it's a Kidio Thunder 2 Quad, four bay storage for 4K professionals. I don't know if I'm a professional, but I do a lot of 4K. It says Thunderbolt 2 interface for lightning fast transfer speeds up to 20 Gbps. It comes with two Thunderbolt 2 ports supporting storage and display, large and quiet low speed fan 1900 RPM for active cooling. Removable trays for easy SSD or HDD installation. I'm just going to use your standard uh, your standard serial ATA drives. I'll use the three and a half inch, but it also would support the two and a half inch, so the laptop type size. Large handle provides comfortable grip when relocating the device. Now I don't plan to relocate this, but uh, but it's good to know that it has that capability to ha to have a handle on it. So as I mentioned, it has daisy chaining. And if you look at the little speed chart here, basically it's saying uh, USB 3 is 5 GPS gigabit, gigabits per second. Thunderbolt is 10 gigabits per second. And this, Thunderbolt 2, is 20 gigabits per second. So really fast. Obviously, it'll work with PC or Mac. I'm going to be using it in conjunction with my iMac with 5K Retina display. And pretty much all that I'll put on this and all that I put on my previous um, Thunderbolt 2 storage device is video. Tons of video and photos because I use Final Cut Pro and I put all of my, uh, store all of my videos and photos externally. And that's also a good practice because if you upgrade your Mac computer periodically by storing everything externally, when you upgrade it's just a matter of, of uh, making sure your applications are installed on your new Mac and then just plug in your external hard drive arrays and you've got all your all your uh, Final Cut Pro and and uh, photos content which is really cool so you get owner's manual with some stickers look pretty sweet you get uh, this box right here let me get all this out of the box and we're gonna look at it actually let's slide this aside and see what's in this box first uh, so this box has it has a power cable. It has a little cable tie, which is a nice touch. You know, keep things neat and organized. It does have a uh, rather large power brick, and then you have a uh, Thunderbolt uh, cable, which is really nice. And I like how it's not super long. I was afraid I may have one that was super long. Uh, and since I'm daisy chaining this one. You know, I'll probably just keep this in the ties here so it stays organized and just chain it into my into my other Thunderbolt 2 enclosure. And then you've got a bag of screws so you can screw in your hard drives a bit. And that's everything in that box. Um, so let's look at the, the big box now. Let's put this aside. Let's see what we got in this. Wow, we got a sack. <laughs> They're 
like, man, you've been shopping for a hard drive. We're going to give you this nice looking bag. So when you lift it out of the box, you feel like you bought something cool. That is pretty cool they included it in that bag. I can use that on the boat. Transport stuff. See, that's a nice bag. And it's very lightweight and collapsible, so... Just a cool little bonus that... I didn't expect that. Akito! Akidio! That's cool. Okay, so the, the device itself looks really nice. I like the uh, I like the black color of it. Uh, if you flip it over to the back, you've got obviously your two Thunderbolt two ports because you know you can daisy chain this device, and that brings up another point. So when I run out of space, once I max out all the uh, 24 terabytes I'm going to be using this for, then I can add a third one. Whether I want to add this brand or the or another brand doesn't matter. You know it's Thunderbolt 2 enclosure. Uh, looking at the front here, uh, you have, I think it's a very sleek looking interface, or sleek looking design rather. Uh, kind of chrome look, you know, put it beside your beside your Mac or your, uh, you know, to work with Windows too. You got this little thing right here that should pop open the I, I should always read an owner's manual, but I don't like owner's manuals, so we're just going to do this. Um, and I probably, yeah, I probably should read the owner's manual. But I'm not going to. Uh, or actually, I may, because I don't know if I can figure this out. Um, so that definitely releases it. And that definitely slides out, but it stops. So, what am I missing here? Whoa! Hope I didn't break it. So now I feel really stupid, and this video is a testament to my stupidity. Okay, let's read the owner's manual. Better yet, let's just make this work. There we go. So that slides out. And then we've got these bays here. We got A, B, C, and D. The reason I don't like owner's manuals is that I've been building uh, PCs my entire life, so. I don't like to read instructions. But everyone should, because that's the proper way to do it. So this right here is just your uh, your drive bay, your cradle rather. And if you look down in the bottom, and I don't know how well you can see it in this video, uh, but there's a serial ATA style connector, and then obviously the serial ATA style 
plug that your um, that your drive would receive power from. You can see that down in the in the bottom there. So all you would do is obviously screw in your hard drive, and then once it's screwed into this, you would insert your uh, your enclosure, and boom, you know, then you've got connectivity. So it's actually a pretty straightforward process, especially if you've been using. Uh, if, if you've been using computers your entire life like I have been building computers and whatnot so see if I hope I didn't permanently damage this no I did not so I got lucky there because this looks really cool from the front I'm gonna try that again because I don't like to fail um, but obviously I, I failed somewhat epically uh, with that. So that's locked in there. Now to unlock it again, I'll slide that. While keeping my finger held down, okay, slide that and then this should pop out and then this slides up. Perfect. Okay, so I figured something out today. And obviously this is something that it's not going to be something you're probably going to be going in every day. I mean, you're, you go inside of it when you need to add new hard drives, but there we go. See now it's locked in. I'm not complaining. I mean, I think they could have they could have made that easier to open and close, not that it's difficult. I think the design looks nice, but they could have made that easier to, to open and close. And, I, and again, I'm not complaining. I'm just throwing out an observation there. But yeah, good build quality. That handle on the top's a nice touch. Like I said, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to be transporting it, but that would be good, especially if you were in a uh, in an environment where you needed to take your data with you. You could simply unplug your Thunderbolt 2 cable and then unplug your, your power cable and take your hard drives with you. So I could see from that perspective how having a handle on it would be nice so that someone doesn't steal your uh, your data while you're away, you know. Yeah, it looks good. and. You know, you need storage, and you need storage as fast. That Thunderbolt 2 is hard to beat. So uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order this online. And I'm also going to list the hard drives that I use with it there as well. And then that way, if you're, if you're looking to get the enclosure plus hard drives, you'll know that you know, you're using the same, uh, the same type of hard drives that I am. So thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.